So obviously I made it into the house before my, my save was wiped out. Either that or I've got a really, I'm doing a really good job of creating a secondary character. 105. See, I don't know what to call her. I don't know what to call her. I think I'll have an idea over the weekend. I am crouched, but it's a good idea to be care careful when you come out of there. I don't know, man. Anywhere around a workbench in this zone is kind of dangerous. Uh. Now, we know. I know. Personally. I know. Whoa. Where are you? Hey. What? Do I? No, okay. Starving. Um, my friend... She's starving. She's also complete health. She's not... She's not worried about getting in a fight, bud. Does the term bit off more than you could chew? Does that, does that uh, ring a bell, my friend? Alright, so I'm going to try to show you what happens when you... So he was running there, and I think I shot, I don't know, somewhere in here again. Like, missed him going that way. But I'll show you what happens when you can plant a shot right beside him. I gotta do it before it gets, uh, before she gets cold, so she can be nice and steady. So I'll shoot at him, right? Okay, here we go. Oh. Alright. I was like, <laughs> Okay, now he's coming straight on, so he's asking for it. But, uh, yeah, we'll take that arrow back. Remember you said you were hungry? Yeah, if only I could paint these things that annoying orange color. There we go. How to find that arrow so easily? It's probably not even the one I'm looking for. We'll wait till it's a little lighter. Personally... I would prefer to eat, to uh, harvest deer and deer meat over wolf. Uh, or, what time is it? Oh, technically daylight. Can we do it? Yes, we can. No, we're not doing that. Okay, go. This is fun. Come on, little fire. So I'm not going to... I was thinking basically to get... Like, this collection of, of base materials is almost finished, as far as I'm concerned. I have almost completed the... The... What I would need... Uh, for a base, you know? I can't believe the knife is now... Just as good on frozen meat as the... Hacksaw... It's better than the hacksaw, guys. I'm still using the hacksaw, because we're sitting by a nice warm fire, I'm not in a rush. I've got enough calories, I think I can cook a piece of meat. Hey, you did survive another night. Because it's technically daytime. 39 minutes. I think we can handle it. Yeah, let's do it. It's going to take 125. We've got 280. We're starving indeed. But you're going to make it, lady. You're going to make it. It just, please don't step in the fire. I don't know, guys. What do you think of Sheila? Hello, dear friend of mine. I hope you're doing well out there. Sorry about the tr 
Look at that. Like, how many times did I, I was standing here? You just need the right angle of light, and that's one thing I really enjoy about this game. I mean, if you want to go looking for cattails, go for looking uh, when it's, um, when it's, uh, go for, go for a look when it's, uh, early morning or getting dusk. Because they'll come across as sort of an olive color, um, whereas the reeds will be a, a solid green, right? Now, we won't take anything else off with the, uh, with the hacksaw here. This way I'm not doing any damage to my knife and stuff like that. Why have the knife, you ask? Well, so I can pull the hides quick. And, you know, you never know when you might want to give the, uh, give the hacksaw a rest because you're worried about breaking it, right? So, always carry the knife as a backup. Besides, if I don't have the can opener on me, which I soon won't. Because in my mind, we're almost out of findable canned food. Like, where am I going to find more canned food? Am I going to wait for an aurora and go into the mine? Don't think so. I'm no dwarf. All right. Um, dun, 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 dun. We've got a lot of deer meat cooking here. We can still get some food off that guy. You know, he volunteered. It's the least I can do. Oh, it's wonderful. Let's go over here. I can't believe how easily I found that arrow. Now, here's a good situation to use the knife. Because it's cold, you know? You don't want her to freeze or take unnecessary damage. I'm having a barbecue. Would you like some? I have wolf meat. I wouldn't offer you the deer. That's just rude. No? Okay. He's not interested. I bet you the wolves would probably love to come over and have a barbecue. How much more meat do I want to cook? Let's do another round. It's better to have cooked meat than not cooked meat. And, and at cooking level 5, really... Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter if it's rotten. Oh, look, a feather. And another one. Followed by two more. Okay, we need to go to the Quonset, though, because I have a plan. And that is to leave things that I need for bows and arrows and stuff at Quonset. Um, one of the reasons I actually stayed out here is because... You know, not to get all, you know, technical here, but numerically speaking, you had one wolf versus four. And actually, I've seen a mix. And I think I've gotten six wolves all around me in town and a bear. Not at the same time. And a moose. So a bunch of stuff that can stomp you at Quonset. So I would stay here and be afraid. And make everything um, hiding out sort of thing. I think I went too far with the water. So I would make everything crouched and freezing. No, this stuff goes bad. Why is my herbal tea going bad? Isn't there preservatives in my food, in my store-bought stuff? In the pre-apocalypse food? Well, you know, it's not... doesn't matter to me at this moment. Like, I've got many coffees. Do I, like, I've got a lot. 0.7 kilograms of liquid there. Let's not do anything with that. Let's just pick that up. And then look around again.
Well, that was just plain silly. I thought I'd already done this. And then I kind of looked around. I was like, wait a second. There's no guts on the ground. Oh, let's not go that way. I said let's not walk in the fire, please. So, fingers, don't fail me now. Do I need to go kill rabbits? That's, I'm thinking... I don't need rabbit skins right now. Keep an eye out. When they hit, when anything hits the 70s, you know, you give it a fix. And that's uh, interloper life from now on. Will I run out of cloth? Absolutely not. You will not run out of cloth. All right, it just it was it just looked too tasty. Okay, let's uh, drop that though to bother me later. Let's take three steaks. These guts. What do you got? Twenty-three minutes. Yeah, yeah, we'll be right back. Okay, come on. Oh wow, nice torch. That was a win. I love how, I love how peppy they are, um, when they don't have a, uh, when they're not overburdened. Man, they like bounce. Not the best idea to run up there, but at worst case, Ontario, it's right there by the pallet. Let's go into our lab. Have a quick look around. More or less, what I want to do is, because I want to make the bear skin bedroll, I should make some arrows. That's what I'm thinking. And I have one birch. We've got the capacity to make another bow. Why not? We're going to do it. Okay, I got a couple of birch here. There we go. So now I have four, so that I can make 12 arrow shafts. Shafts. And I have 12 arrowheads. Well, look at that. We'll leave these three here. That's fine. I'm good with that. We'll leave the two whetstones here in this box. Um, we have deer hides for repairs. We have yet the materials to make a couple more bows. Uh, we have a rabbit pelt. Okay, that's fine. This is scruffy. Got a couple of matches. How many is that? Uh, eight. Jeez, it's like 96 matches. Oh, no more than that. 108 matches. Wow. Got some good clothing, really good clothing in here. So this is where this really feels like a base to me. However, let's, let's do our thing. Yeah, we got a coffee and we got a herbal. What else do we want to leave in here? Not meat. That's just vile. Darn right. Oh. Never mind. And we're done here. Wow, really? Man. Okay. So this base is more or less set up. Now, I'm not leaving, leaving. We're going to go to Quonset and make some stuff. How much water do I have on me? Two liters. Yeah. You can come and you can come. We're gonna go make a bearskin bedroll. Oh man, I should be I should be crouched. This door especially. But you can just do a quick 180 and get back inside. But yeah, let's uh Oh. Darn it. Who wants to watch me walk in and out of a door a bunch of times? Apparently thankfully you. Whoever you, whomever you may be, whoever, whomever, I, you know, English is the first language, so I'm incredibly lazy at learning to use it properly. What's my second language? No. There we go. So she's got a full belly. Um... 
And there's bear steaks at the Quonset already to go with her bearskin bedroll. How's everyone in here? Everyone's good? All right. Cold sun under an uncaring sky, which gave us this very fire we are holding. We cooked uh, days of food, a day of worth of water, and we haven't used a match. And once you settle into, um, like, base life, where you're, you know, where you have these bases and you just, just kind of, well, you have home. And you go to home and you have the food you've prepared. Interloper gets very long. So then it's not a game of, you know, high stakes. It's a game of patience. Will you find the, like, the thing is, you know what? If you're going to play Interloper and you're going to, why not play your old runs? Why not play your long 150-day runs? It's Take them out. Enjoy the scenery because you can, you know? I mean, I've had it. Um, I mean, I've never really had plus temperatures. But, I mean, right now, it feels like minus 8. If I was to, you know, have a bearskin coat on... It would feel like minus three right now. She wouldn't be feeling a thing. Ah. Do I fight my way through dog sort? I mean, it's entertaining, but it's also unnecessarily dangerous, right? Like, we can just go around the problem. Like, nothing says, you know. Good times on YouTube and watching, you know, me get attacked by a wolf. Uh, you know, that I've provoked. Yeah, she's not happy about it either. But let's just not, let's just, if we can, well, you know, because that other wolf, like I said, he volunteered. So. Okay. I just figure maybe I'd use that torch as a future landmark. So I looked at it and thought, okay, because, you know, that kind of thing. If you find this, then you find that, then you are facing this direction. All right, I got three low-flying crows. Now, Zach says, and you know what? I respect that guy as, as a, you know, as a person and player. He is cool. But he says that's just um, atmosphere. But those crows don't mean anything. So that there's a good chance that there's not an incoming uh, weather change. It's not going to get foggy. It's not going to get windy. It's not going to get snowy. It's just going to be like this. And I like it like this. So I hope he's correct. I don't mind being wrong about calling them weather crows for the past five years. Five years has it been? No. No. It's been like four. Yeah, because I, I played for about a year before. A uh, year and a half, maybe. Before I started putting up YouTube stuff. And I've been YouTubing for three years. YouTubing. Look at me. I'm a fancy, fancy talk. Uh, the moral support is appreciated, honey, but not now. I definitely know it's not been an hour. Your watch is broken, miss. What? Because I know I'm lazy and I always leave. Oh. I think I can use this. Bro, do you even lift? Small arms handbook. Who was it who said they pictured a Tyrannosaurus Rex trying to read it, but they're frustrated because their little arms can't can't um, turn the page? I don't know. One of you witty folks out there. Can't feel my hands. Oh yeah, I, I like I I like I cannibalize everything. I watch your stuff. I 
I, uh, I steal your tricks. Most of the time, guys, you're not watching me do my tricks. You're watching me do your tricks. Because it's a constant, like, you learn from everybody. This was so cool about this game. Is even somebody who's, like, just constantly dying. They'll do something and you'll be like, what the? I didn't know you could do that. And you think it's almost simplistic, right? The game gets that way after a while. Or at least feels like that, right? It's simple. Don't get cold. Don't get hungry. Don't get attacked. You know? Now, this is a very nice house. Loon's mod with the basement. Oh my gosh. I did a dance. I was so excited. Because there's doors in the back of this house, but you can't access it. In regular gameplay. I like how invincible I get to feel with a torch now. This means most of my wolf encounters now. I can, you know, dictate the terms. So cold. So cold. You're one of the warmest interloper players I think I've ever had. I spent a lot of time indoors. Have I done the cars? Uh, you can't do that car. No, I haven't been in here. Because I searched the glove box. Karen, if you're out there. There was nothing under the visors. I swear that is total troll... Like, everybody knows there's nothing there, but they still say there's something there. I don't, I don't know. It feels trolly to me. Because, like I said, I've been playing this game a long time, and I've never found anything under the visors. So I think, I think it's a thing that used to happen. Or maybe even happens on Pilgrim. But the thing itself has got such a low... Spawn rate, right? Yeah. Oh. Do, 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 do. Should have grabbed that small arms book so I can set it on fire. Let's see. Do I have anything in here I can set on fire? Oh my goodness. Really? I've done that book? Okay. Yeah, so. Alright, so we can set these books on fire then. Book and coal on fire. Here we go. Torch, angler, bam. Come on, little fire. That what she said. Yeah. <clears throat> now remember, folks, when you come in here, you're going to run into um. There's this here. So there's a can, an empty can, and then behind it, there's usually food. Food behind the garbage. It's always been there. All right. Ruined. Mm -mm, my favorite. 57, 57, here we go. 58. Like it's meant to be. Wait, did I check this? Okay, good. Good, so we've got 
What do we have in here? Ah, oh, jeez, it's like Brewster's millions. I mean, it's a good thing. D don't get me wrong. You want to see a ton of stuff, but I, I have more stuff than I thought I ever had. Um, okay, let's take this bear meat out. Let's go out back with it. The door is right here. And like I said, you know, you're going to... I appreciate you watching me going in and out and in and out. All right. Stockpiling some food so we can make our stuff. Okay, well, at least I came in here. The only reason I'm walking around so carelessly, too, is because I have pretty much full condition and uh, full condition and uh, I'm pretty well protected. Your protection really counts for something. Chocolate bar. You stash this chocolate bar in your trunk because you're crazy. Nope. Chocolate bar. You just put it on the dashboard because you're equally crazy. Yeah, hot tip, everyone. Don't ever put chocolate on the dashboard of your car. I mean, unless you like it like that, but... Even in the winter, it's not a good idea. Because you need to defrost your windows. <laughs> Alright. I like that I just got a chocolate bar out of this. This is okay. Yeah. There's, you, I don't... I have never, ever... However... There's a lot of evers in that sentence. Uh, there is a... Um, there's a skit out on, on uh, YouTube. The Long Dark and Real Life. And... Uh, okay, you can't just do that, honey. You just literally <laughs> took my hand right off the controller. You're a big, strong girl, I know. Yeah. Okay, one second, honey. She was insistent. And she's large. Sorry about that, guys. We got some, some real-life interruptions there. Oh, yeah, I'm cooking stuff and I'm wandering around out here. Yeah, so if Loons wants to use a bear hide, he can have one of those. There's, and then I got some down the way. All right, 14 minutes, 42, things are looking up. Okay, so we'll throw this guy on. What do we got for fire time? Okay, we'll run in here because I don't like this crate either. Man, see? You don't get anything out of them, but, uh, well, you, you get reclaimed wood, right? So, really, how are you going to complain? All right, we got some more water. Let's do it. I just want to make sure I've got everything I need uh, for the um, the crafting session that's about to take place. It would be better to do it outside, but that's not going to happen. I'm not grabbing these bear hides and hauling them all the way down. That's just not going to happen. Now, let's see here, though. I believe... Shall we look at the blueprints or whatnot? Inventory. Crafting. It's clothing? No. No, it's not. Bears can bed wall. I need five cloth. That's the knife we're going to use. Five cloth. Okay, well, I've got five cloth on me. I just wasn't sure if that was going to work or not.
Anything I missed? Not really good idea to. Wow. No pry bar. No pry bar. Well, you know what? Take those because you never know when you're going to have to repair. Um, some satchel. You know what? It's a perfect time now to start working on some some bear hide bedroll. Although I found out, and this was. This was a rough day for me. I found out that the actual bedroll that you get in the starter bedroll is better than the bearskin bedroll. Uh, you know, more efficient for weight and whatnot. So, yeah. Okay, let's eat that. And cook this. Drink some water. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I was distracted. As I was drinking, though. <laughs> Need water. Yes. But you've got drama, too, so that's good. Okay, so where are we at here? Okay. Perfect. So we can start this up. A good half hour little little session here. Let's get going on that. She's getting tired. It's perfect. Oh, until boil dry. Whoa, whoa. Let's not risk that. Okay, we'll throw this on for half an hour. That should be cooked. Beautiful. Didn't pull any torches, but you know. I'm sure we're going to have another fire. I'm going to keep that in my backpack overnight. I'm not not worried in the in the least. Not worried. Uh, yeah, sun is set. Ing. Ing. Let's do, let's do as much bear skin. Use your words. Oh, not our, not our 99 percenter. Let's use this guy. Let's get as much bed rolling and done as we can. I know, right? Wow. Went further into the night than I thought she would. Okay. Um, yeah. Alright. Drink. Sleep. We do have the... We do... We, we have what we need. That should get us to daylight. And not dying of thirst. Breakfast bear meat, anyone? So we have our breakfast bear meat. Things are good. Um, yeah, what time of day? Mm, not quite. Not quite. So let's leave for an hour. It's a luxury that we have. Like, hello, sir. It's a luxury we have. I'm just talking to my cat, I'm sorry. I do that a lot. Metal shelf. Storm lantern. Where the hell am I? Oh, workbench is over here. Okay. Workbench. We're about 20 hours. So let's put in four. Because we mean it. We're not going anywhere. We're not doing anything. Except, immediately after this, we can go fishing. Yeah. So then she can lose her cabin fever with this awesome bedroll she has. Very excited. And we've got a fixer for when we do need to fix our bedroll. And there's another... Um, there's one in Desolation Point. It's a good idea to kind of have a bunch of bear skins kind of spread out throughout the, uh, the maps. Uh, the bears would disagree with that statement. They would definitely... They definitely want to argue at different points. You know, about how they like the skin on them. Which, yeah. I understand. Alright, let's...
Let's not get too drinky here. All right. All right. Let's grab uh, some steak. Bears on the menu, guys. Lots of bear. Will we make a bear skin bedroll? I think it, it's meant to be. Well, at least the sounds and stuff like that you get aren't, aren't you know, incredibly terrifying or anything like that. Yeah, I'm going to go back inside. Let's make some bearskin bedroll. It's just without making the heavy-duty coats and only having the one wolf coat, it's, you know, I got to have a bearskin bedroll. Because, you know, when it was minus, feeling like minus eight out there, we could have went into a, we could have went into a fishing hut and had a nap and warmed up. Big fan of the naps in this game, I know. You know, too. Wow. Just, look at that, six hours to go. We're just eating into it. It's great. Oh, we don't want to drink the lantern fuel. Let's... I know you don't ever see me pull up that many to drink, do you? I'm always doing it from my... It's an old school thing. Like, because this... This is not as new as the crampons, but I, I sort of use it. Like, I could use this thing for a lot more than what I do. Right? Yeah. But I don't. Okay. We are in trouble. Because... We're not really tired enough to be sleeping. Because we're going to wake up in the middle of the night. Not the middle of the night, but at the wrong part of the night. So, she'll be like in a situation where she's kind of like forced to. Yeah, I have been. I've been using that knife like a son of a gun. I mean, it doesn't really matter, matter, but. I should have dropped it. I can't trust myself with that kind of thing. Wait, what time of day is it? Well, it's getting there. In you go. There we go. Also, very rich. Like, incredibly rich. So rich, I can leave that thing burning there. For a full two hours. Not even be mildly concerned. To break down that other lantern for fuel. Do I have fuel on me? It wouldn't surprise me if I did. Oh, I don't. Yeah, but for weight, it is better to have um, the uh, cloth bedroll. Because the maximum you get out of the bear skin is... Um, oh, what are we looking at here? Where am I? Oh, yeah, okay. Right, workbench, okay. Maximum you get out of the bear skin is 5, or 12. But you get five out of the other bed, and this is three kilograms. So I, I thought the maximum was four. I can talk and work. I thought the maximum was four um, for the cloth bed roll. So. What do you mean it's not light enough? most certainly is so I thought you could get f you know what I mean you only got four so this was essentially three bedrolls but it's not it just weighs three bedrolls heartbreaking I tell you hello sir
on my my front door, my cats have destroyed. The, well, sorry. The other cats, the cats use it, but the Jack, the the dragon, he destroyed my screen. So they just jump through whenever they want. Occasionally, a fly or something gets in here too, which is nice because they then kill it. There we go. Love to see it. All right. Um, swing a couple of these. I'm just, I know I've got some impending cabin fever risk, so and now we will put some in here yeah we don't need we're good I don't need a bunch more I want to travel with these eventually because what do I have three four another six ten eleven arrows for me that's pretty good So we do need to go fishing. But as you can see, don't have a lot of fuel. I mean, I've got a little bit of fuel. Could fish for a few hours, but not not like I like. So, all right, do an inventory again. Okay, so we've got that. We need some lantern fuel, and that's that's true. So no, if we're going fishing, okay, yeah. So we're going to go back to main base, as boring as that sounds, and we're going to go fishing. So yeah, maybe, who knows, over the years, the crows just had incredible timing. Wait. Wow, minus six. What time of day is it? Well, I guess, eh? So we did all that off of one mag lens, too, guys. Very efficient. The wolves are out, but we have food. Just want to see where they're at. Yeah, I don't have to pick a fight with them every time. No, it seems like it, but. Yeah, you see, I always leave the, the door open on my fishing huts with the doors on them. So, you know, when I come across one and I see the door is closed, I'm like, oh, nice. But, oh, yeah, everyone, minus five, minus two. And it's not just wind protection, because let's, we can go to the... Minus six. It's a three degree, but it only works on the ones with the doors. You get three degree warmth bonus. Look at that. See, I'd be able to just sleep. I'm not going to, but you can you can do that. That's amazing. Without burning any fuel, you can warm up outside and sleep. So that is cool.
We'll leave the rabbit alone. Okay. I have four hooks, but no fishing line to go with those hooks. Guys, it's those cans. I remember those cans. Man, fish don't like to be picked up. Oh, tiny little fish. Oh, again, tiny little fish. Petit poisson. There we go. That's more like it. Three kilograms of fish meat. It is going to blizzard. So yeah, the cats kind of come and go as they please when the main door is open. Which is lame. Because I don't mind opening the door for them. It's just, what's with the property damage? Because now I have to fix the screen. Winter is coming. They're not going to like winter. It's like every year they forget how awesome everything is in the summer. Uh kind of screwed up there. Yeah, no, I'm I'm backtracking because the, the sticks probably haven't spawned behind me there. <clears throat> Potentially on this island in front of me, there is a few sticks. I just need a half dozen or so to <clears throat> make me feel safe. Sorry about that. Clearing clearing of the throat. Where else? Anyway. Yeah. We can eat some salmon. We can hang out outside. The idea is at least spend a few hours outside here. We can do a big fish on at the other place. But I want to cook that stuff up. Get the lantern oil. And, uh... Just kind of... Hang out. This should be fun. But so far, I can't find a stick. Man, the wolf isn't out here, is it? Okay. Oh, look, a stick. Do some beach combing for some wood, you betcha. Oh, it's not even weak. That was a nice find. Beach combing uh, cedar. Uh, sign me up, man. I'm sure we've checked back there. You gotta do that when you come through. Mayhap I didn't. So, she's freezing to death and not enjoying things. Okay, I thought I saw you. Alright. Well, see, the cedar, that takes the place of six sticks, right? Half dozen sticks, so. Um, at this point, the sticks are just a bonus. And with the fire starting level she has, what limited fuel she's got will actually last quite some time. Did you want to come for a cookout? We're having a fish fry. You've been given a feather at the very least, sir? No, you haven't. We haven't been back here. There could have been a fire striker right there. There wasn't. But there could have been. Alright, let's uh, see what we got here. Yeah, see? Out there in the snow. Snow coming down, slowly getting wet. What is that? What is that? Oh, running shoes. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what she needs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I am intensely curious as to what's going on out here.
Now I don't want to risk a wolf fight. She's good on condition. Tough girl. It's just she's a little tired is all. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. Settle, settle down. All right. Here we go. Nope. Okay, about here. Okay, here we go. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, definitely the crampons gave her the extra time she needed to get off of that. Is there no wolf here? If there's no wolf here, I'm going to look at the islands for sticks. Ooh. What's that? Look at that, guys. Gotta love a sapling. Ooh, look. Look, guys. Oh, not even dangerous. It's not even a dangerous stick. All right, let's go back this way. Check. Oh, jeez. I was going to say, I could find a can in there. So, now we've just gone for a little tour, and now we're coming back with two green birch saplings. Like I said, it's like Brewster's Millions. Can't go through them quick enough. You know, it's like, ah, you're going to run out of arrows. It's like, I, you know what? Not even me. It's like, you almost can't run out of arrows. I mean, you could, I guess, but... To be doing some pretty wasteful things with them, like shooting them into the water, you know, and just don't take that shot. Like, things can't be that bad for you that you're taking a shot, you know, against a deer or something with the backdrop of open water. Just walk around a bit, the deer will move. So, like, yeah, it's so many arrows out here, and I haven't actually really gone looking. You know, if you go really and search for them, oh, my poor dog's sitting out on the front porch like, so you let me out, are you gonna, you gonna do the turnaround, let me back in, or, it's, it's nice out, and if she sits outside by herself for a bit, that way I know for sure she's done exactly what she needs to do. Because she really, literally followed the other dog around and did everything the other dog did. Not necessarily pooping at the same time or anything like that, but just, you know. Oh, you have to take it. And you can eat it. You can eat the rotten meat from this menu. Hello, sir. It's the third cat. I've had all the cats in and out. Talking to me the whole way. Well, we got some sticks. We got fed. I'm going to go cook some fish. I think I might end the episode off there. Hopefully we don't get into a wolf fight on the way down. There's the wolf there. Yeah, we might get into uh, some fishing. Little bits, yeah. So not only are we going to cook the fish, but we're going to catch the fish. I think that actually turned into a really good wood run. I did really well there for myself. Not to... Not to toot on, the own, on my own horn. Don't walk on that stuff. I don't trust that stuff at all. It's white stuff. It's uh, definitely dangerous. Like, you start to... Like, here, okay, sure. But, like, out there, don't do it, man. You just fall right through. Zero warning. Gives you nothing. Nothing, I tell you. Alright, so how cold is it? Minus 14. Too darn cold for the bedroll. Alright. Let's 
start fire. Fire striker, yes. Cedar, also yes. We're good. I mean, we're going to throw all the wood on, maybe, except for a few sticks. I mean, I don't care if, you know, because sometimes the game will kind of, kind of blizzard you in. Kind of stickier, as it were. Yeah, we got, we can go fishing. We can, uh, yeah, eight hours, beautiful. We can go fishing, we can have a nap. It's going to be nice. All right. Actually, you know what? Let's do that nap thing first. I know, right? Beautiful. Scooch down. Hang out here with this nice lighting. Sleep for two hours. That's nice. So she's doing okay. We've got a bare skin bedroll now. So I think, actually, though, what I do want to do is actually uh, go uh, to Mystery Lake soon to start working on finalizing that base and getting that place all done up with coal. Old Nessie here is... Oh, wait, wait, wait for it. Smashy smash. I know, I shouldn't be out here doing this with my pry bar, but I think we're almost done with the pry bars, too, you know? How many more cars are there out there that I really want to look in? Oh, no. Oh. Throw you on. Zippy Zoodle, Coho, yeah. Fish for one hour. Perfect. Catch me something. Yes! It's just, it's all about the skills at this point, right? All right, the skills and the and the oil. Want that fish oil? All right, perfect. So we've got breakfast just waiting here. Got an incoming storm. Yeah, 0.24 liters, why not? Look at that, she's just over half full, guys. Of course I'm a half full kind of person, right? All right, now what do I have for water? It's, it's close, four hours, 55. All right. Let's get her up to, get her up to six hours, now seven. And now we can sleep for eight. So, that's good. Uh, you know what? We can sleep for eight. And if we got some fire going in the morning, we can worry about that then. But yeah, I'm going to sign her off here. Until next time. Keep surviving. And thank you very much for watching. As always. It's great to have you. Watch me do my struggling. 107 days, guys. Beautiful morning. She's nice and warm in her shelter. We got three hours on that fire. She can make herself some water when we come back. So, All right, guys. Sorry it was a little bit crafty, a little bit fishy. But uh, I think on the next one, we're going we're gonna to head, head out. Yeah, literally, I'm just going to forget about that knife in Quonset. Because we're going to Forlorn. That's right. And we're going to do another forge. I know it seems a little redundant, but we'll do yet another forge. Bring stuff back. But I really want to look at Mystery Lake and, and see what I've got there. Because I might have to bring stuff to Timberwolf Mountain instead. Like an extra set of tools. Hatchet and knife. This is something I do. 
not necessarily necessary, but it's something I do. So, All right, anyway, see you next time, guys. Thanks a lot.